Hello world, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be building this um, sort of specific custom cursor interaction, and this is my cursor right here, and as I hover on this uh, piece of text, the text inverts and changes to a different color based on the cursor. So this is made possible using blending modes in Webflow, so let's just get right into it and show you guys how it's done. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab a div and this div block is going to be called main and this is going to contain our sort of our text this sort of background color and everything else that's not the cursor so main width of 100 percent and a height of 100 vh flex vertical center aligned and i'm going to give it this background color all these hex codes that i use will be posted in the description but here, here's the Xcode. And inside of here, I'm gonna drag in a heading. And this I'm gonna call heading because we're not gonna, this is just an interaction, right? Um, and it's not a full page, but anyways, so heading, right? Now, this is going to be our text color, okay? And it's gonna be a pretty big piece of text, 15 rem. And something that I recently learned was that for our line height, we shouldn't really use pixels or percents or EMs or REMs or any of these really. And we should just use unit list or this dash that we see right here in Webflow. And what this is doing is basically if I type in one for our line height, it's set to unit list. What this does is it just uh, multiplies this number, this line height number, by uh, the size of the actual text. So if I put in two, um, the line height would be 30 rem. If I put in one, the line height would be 15 rem. That's like a better way of doing it. But anyways, we're getting off topic. So this text is just gonna say hover, okay? And that's it that we need for our main. Now, uh, let's make our cursor wrapper. So this is gonna be pretty similar to our main div. So cursor wrapper, width of 100%, a height of 100 VH, you're probably seeing the similarities, vertical, center aligned, okay? But now we're gonna hit position fixed, and then we're going to hit this sort of full button right here. So it takes up the entirety of our space right here. And then what we wanna do is make sure that we set a very, very high Z index. Our cursor always needs to be at the top of everything else, so like maybe a 999. That can be our uh, Z index. Z index is just meant for layering and sort of adding, like, um, sort of figuring out where you want to layer your elements. So, like, a higher Z index means that you layer it on top of other elements. Yeah, I can make a whole video about explaining that if you guys want to. But yeah, so 999 is going to be our Z index. Now, inside of this cursor wrapper, we're going to drag in another div, and this is going to be called our cursor. So, our actual cursor. And this cursor is going to have a width of 15 rem and a height of the same. I'm going to change this sort of background color to this and then I want to give it a radius of 50% so that it's always a circle and that's it for our sort of cursor. Now as you can see we still don't have our blend mode effect and how we create that effect is we grab our cursor wrapper okay and we're going to go down here to effects and blending and then we can just sort of scroll through here until we sort of find one that we like now i picked difference for my example but obviously you can mess with the colors more you can pick a different one for example color lum luminosity saturation etc etc but i picked difference um yeah you can change the colors there's truly some really cool things that you can make with this blending mode but I have difference, and now if we sort of hit preview and we look around, yes, it works, but now we need to get our cursor to actually work, and how we do that is we're gonna go to our interactions panel, but instead of setting an element trigger on something like the cursor wrapper or main or even body, the best thing to do is to set a page trigger. So on our page trigger, we're gonna go into mouse move in viewport, and we're gonna make an animation called cursor move, and we're gonna go inside our cursor wrapper, grab our cursor and just move it so for our x action so like from this on this horizontal plane we're going to move it negative 50 vw and 50 vw and we get to the 100 percent mark now for our y actions we're going to move it um negative 50 vh so farther uh farther up and then 50 vh farther down 
So now if we try and look, oh, it's working. Let's hit save and let's go into preview mode and let's see. Okay, so our cursor interaction is working. Our blend modes are working and everything's working well. But one thing we need to do is make sure that we get rid of this actual cursor that we have here. So that uh, mouse pointer that we have, that we need to get rid of so that people can actually believe that, well, this giant dot is our, uh, is our cursor and not the mouse. So for that to happen, we're just gonna grab our cursor wrapper and then we're gonna hit um, none. So in our cursor setting, we're gonna hit none. Now, if we see, we just have the dot and no more cursor. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought uh, by leaving a comment, like this video, subscribe, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!